Let's solve the quadratic equation using factor by grouping. First thing I know is I have to use the grouping method because I have a number here other than one. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna think of numbers that multiply to two times negative nine. This is called the grouping method. Sometimes it's called the AC method because we're using A and C. So we need to multiply to negative 18, but we have to add to the middle number. So let's think of numbers that multiply to negative 18 that add to 3. Well, 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. But if I take 3 minus 6, I get negative 3. Since they're just the opposite, all I'm going to do is change my signs. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. And negative 3 plus 6 is 3. And we have our magic numbers. We're going to rewrite 2x squared. Now instead of plus 3x, we're going to write our two magic numbers. Minus 3x plus 6x, and then minus 9 equals 0. The grouping method says we're going to look at the first two, and then we're going to look at the second two terms. So let's look at the first two terms. What we want to find is the greatest common factor. We have to factor out the greatest common factor. So let's write that on the side. 2x squared equals 2 times x times x. Negative 3x is, there's my x, is x times negative 1 times 3. So it looks like our greatest common factor is going to be x. So we're going to write an x and a parentheses. I'm going to erase my little box here. Now we're going to divide each piece from that box by x. So 2x squared divided by x is 2x. Negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. Great. Now we need to look at the other side, so we're going to have to do the same thing. So 6x is 2 times 3 times x. Negative 9 is 3 times 3 times negative 1. Now the only thing in common is 3, so 3 is our greatest common factor. Now notice it's a positive 3, so we're going to write plus 3. I'm going to erase my box. And now we're going to divide each piece by our greatest common factor, which is 3. So 6x divided by 3 is 2x. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. Now here's the really, really important piece. If these two are the same, we know we're doing it right. If they're not the same, well, that means we need to back up and check our work. But they are the same. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to write 2x minus 3. Okay, so basically I'm factoring out 2x minus 3. So if I take out 2x minus 3, I'm left with an x. If I take out 2x minus 3, I'm left with a plus 3, and we still have equals 0. Now at this point, we can check this by foiling, and when you foil, you should get back to 2x squared plus 3x minus 9. But we need to keep going because we're trying to solve this. So everything that has an x, we're going to make it equal to 0. All right, so let's solve. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So 2x equals 3. I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides of the equal sign. So I end up with 3 halves. And students always ask me, can we really have a fraction as an answer? You sure can. But with this one, we want to leave it as an improper fraction. We don't like mixed numbers. So you don't want to write 1 and a half. Nope, nope, 3 halves is perfect. Let's subtract 3 from both sides. So x equals negative 3, and that is our second answer. And guess what? We did it. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, was it?